All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get ChatGPT4, the premium version, for free. So uh, it may be debatable, but I think most people will agree that ChatGPT4 is the um, kind of the top uh, generative AI tool at the moment as we talk at the end of 2023. Um, and I, I think it's a little known fact that you can actually get this access to its um, capabilities using Bing slash Copilot. Uh, I'm going to kind of just step you through uh, how you do that, how you get that. So um, Microsoft has invested um, a lot of money in OpenAI, which runs and created ChatGPT. And uh, because of that, I think they got um, the ability to use it in Bing. Um, and they've started branding everything that's kind of AI related Copilot. And so uh, anyway, if you go to uh, either Bing.com or Copilot.Microsoft.com um, and go ahead and try to log in, it should look very similar to this. Um, I've shown you the Bing example. It would just say Copilot at the top here. Um, but basically, you, um, if you don't have an account, you're going to hit create one. And then you'll put in an email address. Um, if you don't want to put in an email address, you can actually get, um, there's an option here to uh, get new email address. Um, and you can do that. I didn't do that, though. I just put in an email address when I created my account. Um, put in your name. Um, put in your uh, date of birth. Um, and then uh, you'll get, as soon as you hit next there, you'll get an email to, you don't create a password. Um, they're, uh, uh, mechanism for logging in is sending you uh, a code and so you get sent a code and you enter it here then hit next um, this is uh, the first time logging in creating the account you will go through this uh, solving a puzzle um, I've created an account uh, multiple times and one time I had to do like a bunch of the puzzles the other time I only had to do one <clears throat> so I'm not sure why that is but then when when you're finally done you'll hit next and it'll say verify and you can uh, log in um, to your account and start using Bing slash Copilot. And I'm just kind of showing you here that this is the Copilot interface. It's very similar to the uh, Bing interface. Um, and the only difference is you do get to uh, a history of your conversations with the AI, um, which I kind of like. Uh, so if you don't want that, use Bing. Um, maybe that's better for privacy sake um, because Bing does not uh, if you look at Bing here there there is no side thing here there's nothing uh, the other thing that Bing has that Copilot doesn't is the ability to choose um, how long your response um, how long the response is from the AI um, if you precise it's going to be short quick like just a couple sentences um, where if creative you're probably going to get a couple paragraphs to actually even much longer than that um, and then, you know, in the middle there. Um, yeah, and so just some examples. I literally, right before doing this, I put in, how do you make uh, creme brulee? And it, it gave me that. And I actually asked for, like, can you give me the ingredients and in the amounts? And that's not showing that, but it did show me that right below. Um, this is kind of an interesting feature where you can upload an image. You just drag and drop it right into this search area down here. And um, you can ask it any question. I said, what is this? And it was pretty accurate. And this is a dog's head. Looks like a chihuahua. These are its small rounded ears. Um, so pretty cool. Um, you can also have it create images. This is great. And actually using uh, uh, OpenAI's Dolly for uh, image generation, which I think does an excellent job. I said, please draw me an image of a Christmas scene in Germany in clip art style. And it gave me these four options which is kind of nice, and you click on one of them. It actually takes you to the image creator when you click on one of them, but um, it pops up in a new screen. And then you can download this image um, by just clicking that download button. Um, and as you see, it really has great detail, high resolution. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's it. This is a quick and easy way to get access to um, ChatGPT's premium features for free. Um, yeah, and just like to summarize, like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot slash Bing can generate text conversations, compose essays. It can summarize content. Like you can, you can um, drop in a file and say read this and summarize it, or you can just cut and paste that content into the um, the chat 
um, field and, it, and, and ask it to summarize it. Um, it'll generate code. Um, it'll, uh, you can say, uh, you know, give me a website um, that, you know, has a um, contact form and it will give you HTML for that. Um, you know, as I showed you, it generates images, allows you to upload images, and it'll answer complex questions. Um, the cool thing about it, um, uh, unlike, you know, the free version of ChatGPT, which is 3.5, um, this version um, has access to the internet. It'll actually give you up-to-date information, which is great. Um, and like I said, you can specify a short or long answer only when using the Bing option. Um, yeah, uh, and note, like, you can chat. Um, uh, you, so like I said, your chats in... Um, Bing do not get remembered, but in Copilot they do. Actually, I think I put this wrong. Uh, Copilot does remember your um, conversations. Um, and so yeah, that, that's it. I think I hit on all the key features, um, but let me know if you have any follow-up questions. I'm glad to do more videos on this. Um, I hope this is helpful, and because like I said, this is a feature that not everyone is aware of, um, and I just I think it's a, it's a great resource for people to use. Thanks.